Hi, I'm Luisa Passos, a PhD student from the University of Salford, and this is the Golden Montella. So if you could walk us through this frog and what it's, it's, it's currently under threat within Madagascar, and your research is looking at trying to reintroduce captive bred species? Yes, my, my, my main goal is to see like how captive animals are different from wild animals, is to see if the captive animals have the right skills to, to survive in the wild mm -hmm. again. So I'm taking like different different aspects from the behavior and ecology of these animals. So I'm comparing captive animals, these are the ones here in Chester, and wild animals in Madagascar as well, to see if in the future when these animals are going to be released, if they have everything they need to survive. We've got some equipment here with you today to make some recordings of the frogs. Tell us what you're doing. Yes, and right now I'm going to record the callings of these frogs because uh, I have done already in Madagascar some okay. recordings. I'm going to see if they have like a different sound shape, the frequency is different, if there's any difference between the callings. And also I'm going to use the callings that I have here, the callings that I already collect in Madagascar, and also the callings I collect for a captive breeding in Madagascar. Ah. And I'm going to use for a playback experiment. So what I do, like a playback for these animals, and I see if they be, how they respond for the sound, if they respond different for different sounds. So we're going to put like a camera here and going to record 10 minutes before, 10 minutes with the playback and 10 minutes after. So we can see like if there's any different, if they re re really respond to the sound yes. and how, if there's any difference between the different inputs. So this physical response that they're making, do they move, would they move differently? Is that what you might expect to They see? might uh, move closer to the, where the sound is coming, mm -hmm. they might start calling back, they may use my back a little feisty because like, it's my territory. <laughs> so there's different things that different reactions they yes. can have, or they can just ignore like something, something, something else calling. I don't care. Uh -huh. so, so you it might be. So this part of it, you haven't yet done the comparison. No, so, oh, yeah. Exciting. So yes. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm collecting yeah. their calling so I can prepare for the playback next week. Right. Oh, it's like a whole performance. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, let's have a close look at them and see what they are doing. Yeah, you, this group over here you can see like the males are falling, you can see like some, some of the males you can see like they're fighting, you know, like they fight a little bit like to defend, defend the territory. So we have a, the ratio is written on here, so 10 males and 5 females, is that the ratio that we have? Yes, like you can okay. see. And normally like to breed those animals, normally they breed like all together, so like in the pond and breeding season can find like a lot of animals. Yeah. So this is pretty much like trying to mimic the same situation. Okay. It's the same thing I'm going to do playback, just going to seem like there's a lot of people coming. So it's not really stressful. Yeah. It's just like they're used to that. Okay. So this is this device here as well. Yes. Is that what you've used to record? Yeah, this one is, is what I, take, I took to Madagascar. Okay. To record now some calling. So it's a really high sensitivity or what sort Yes. Of? Before going to field, we, we test a few different microphones yeah. to see how how high this animal's calling and to see if we need like a special microphone or you know, so this one is it's sensitive enough yeah. for them. So yeah, so we just record and then Back and put in the computer, so like we can do a little bit of adding, take some of the background of just the frog. I see. And then we're gonna play back to them. So let's see. So where are you gonna set this up? With this aquarium here? Is this? Yeah, gonna it's gonna put it? like. I'm gonna put it on top because it's just like a net, so it's easy. Because sometimes you open and then you stop calling just because oh, there's something they? weird going in. Because they so see that just, as some kind of threat or what? Yeah, is. I don't know. It's just I don't know how weird. Or <laughs> well, they're thing. shy. They're just shy. Yeah, they get shy again. <laughs> so I put it on top and. It's enough because it's quite really sensitive, so it gets you know from the spoon and stuff. Yes. Okay. Let's, so let's do it. set it up. So we have to have complete silence. Yes. Yeah, silence. Yes. All right. So Otherwise, in place. <laughs> we are a little bit longer than the frogs. Okay.
breathe. <laughs> so you're a Brazilian in Salford. Yes. What's that like? <laughs> it's wet it's Salford. But it, it's I'm really really happy with my choice of coming. Uh, the universe is I've been quite happy the universe offer a whole range of different professors that you can go for help outside my supervisor and also all the equipment that I'm using like to record the, the, the frogs that I can take to Madagascar I, I don't need to buy those equipment for my, my grant I can just borrow from the university which makes life a lot easier for a PhD and like since I'm not like from bioacoustics I just went for a, a acoustic engineer to make sure like I'm getting the right equipment so we don't make like those silly mistakes uh -huh. I'm not so in a different department? in a different oh, department okay, right. yeah it's because I'm environmental life science, but yeah. I went to the engineer to help, and with my lab, lab work, I'm getting help from microbiology. It's really like a, a community, everybody's helping each other, it makes life more, a lot more easier. Yeah, and how did you get focused on the frog? What, what, how did that project arrive? The project, well, the first idea for my project, it came from Robert Young, my okay. supervisor, but then we came to Chester to a meeting, and then was like, which species do you think that needs this kind of project? So it wasn't just like, let's get a random species, let's get do something useful, yeah. the species that actually needs some attention. Yes. So it was the species that I chose was suggested for Chester. Okay, so the next steps for the research are to bring the audio recordings here and make the comparisons, yes. make the observations. Do you have to go out to Madagascar again anytime soon? or what's Well, the... I have been to Madagascar twice already. Right. And right now, after this is some time from the computer, yeah. before the next few trips, so to make sure I have enough data and what data I still need to collect. So before setting a new, new trip to Madagascar, it's some analysis first. Okay, well we look forward to seeing what happens next and hearing the frog chorus in a couple of weeks time perhaps. Yes, I'm excited as well. <laughs> okay. Can't tell what's going to happen yet. Exactly. Thanks very much, Lisa. Thank you.